hello capricorn welcome back to the channel all right you guys so we're gonna do a reading for you see what's going on with you and your person capricorn this is your bonus i just did another one for you it should be up by now but welcome to your bonus you guys i hope we can keep up this um videos with you as uh, long as you show your support by liking the video all right so let's get into it um thank you guys for joining me my name is Asim Tarot if you guys are new here this is going to be your love reading with the person that you are thinking about at this moment um and yeah let's get into your reading if it doesn't resonate I will have a link in the below section of the video it will be your playlist and um yeah go over to your girl's Instagram and support your girl if you want to over there as soon as we hit 5k's on the Instagram, we're we'll going to be doing the personal free readings on the Instagram only. So if that's something that you're interested in, check out the description box. All right, guys. So let's get into your reading. Capricorn, please, in your person. Messages for their bonus that you have for Capricorn and their person. I saw the devil in the back of the deck as I'm recording, and here they are again. Ooh, a lot of passion. Oh, my God. So Capricorn, oh, my God. You know, this person, of course, they're very selfish. I see a very selfish, materialistic person coming through here, okay? Um, <laughs> all right, but you have a life with this person. I, I'm seeing that you guys planned a life together, a legacy together. For some of you, you have children together. All right. This is something that this person wants to keep. This is something that this person wants to work on, even though they're very selfish and they don't have any time for you. They don't input any time for you. They're elsewhere. All right. I see that this person thinks about themselves and nothing else at this moment. I feel like this person, when it comes to love, they're very slow towards you. No, that's not true. Okay. They, they, they do love you. Okay, so they're going to be moving very fast towards you. Excuse me. Sorry. I feel like they're very possessive, though, because this Eight of Wands is right beside this devil here. All right, so they're very possessive, acting like you belong to them kind of thing, thinking about you a lot, but yet they have secrets and they're tied to something here with these two people being tied in the devil okay i don't know why the devil card is coming out a lot right now the sun is going in and out you guys so i'm gonna turn this up and then we have this lovers here so they're definitely thinking about calling you right now they want to be with you they're like they have a lot of flame towards you look at these cards struggling they got a lot of a fire passion for you like, it's all about them wanting you right now. Like, they miss your physical aspects. The things that you guys used to do together. <laughs> it could be just hugging, touching, you know. It doesn't have to be sex, but this person is thinking about you a lot. All right. Let's see here. So we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of... I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. But the funny thing is the Ten of Cups is in reverse. So we have mixed feelings coming through here. Oh my goodness. Somebody did something. Hmm. Uh, this person is manifesting. You look at this. Someone has to do the work. Someone was very heartbroken here. Not only that, a lot of physical and um, health issues um, was caused by this relationship. Okay. And now this person has to do a lot of healing with this Ten of swords all right i have to do a lot of healing here all right that have not been done yet in the present moment hmm. so we also have this ten of cups in reverse which is telling me that you are thinking to end this relationship you have children together because these two i mean you wanted this to to happen to last but you know this person cheated on you with the three of cups here 
in reverse. A decision was made to end this connection. To end this connection, you're done with this. But this person is manifesting you back into their lives and praying to the gods that they will, you know, you will come back to them. For some of you, you're still sleeping together, by the way. Oh, my goodness. So let's clarify the ten of, let's clarify these cards in reverse. Okay. Why is the four of pentacles here? Four Capricorn. Why is the four of pentacles here for Capricorn? Oof. Four of Pentacles for Capricorn, please. Why is the Ten of Cups here in reverse? Oof. No, I'm not going to take it. Ten of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Why is the three of cups here in reverse, please? For Capricorn. In the back of the deck, we have the fools. So you're probably going to jump back into this relationship, you guys. Um, you know, you missing this person as much as they miss you. I see twin flame connection here. Plus, you have children together. Some of you have a home together. You have financial aspects tied together. It's a, a little hard to leave this relationship because and have somebody else come into something that you have worked so hard to build, okay? Um, so let's talk about the first cards that we clarified here. We clarified the Four of Pentacles and it was clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Five of Pentacles, and we have the Emperor. I mean, talk about money. I mean, talk about money. Talk about marriage, you know? Um, five of Pentacles, I feel like you guys are married with this Ten of Pentacles here, and plus we have the Ten of Cups. You guys are acting married. Um, you know, this person left you for someone else here. Very manipulative, manipulative person, energy coming through. I feel like when they don't get their way with you, they often take the money from you or um, act very manipulative, put things on you, blame things on you. But let's talk about this five of pentacles. You know, um, for some of you, this person might have kicked you out of the home, change your locks and have somebody else move in in your property, something that you have worked so hard for. But if they didn't do that, you guys, they left you in the cold. I feel like you had to build your life. They probably left you for someone else and you have to build your life all over again. Left you with a lot of responsibilities here and you did it. You took yourself out. You ended the situation, okay? With this four of pentacles here, this person that really didn't have much to give you, uh, much to say to you. I feel like this person was very selfish. They were just everywhere else, honestly. Meantime, you were doing what you need to be done here. Now, we have the emperor here, which, you know, it's like this... Oh my God, like this person is very entwined with themselves, all about themselves here. But I feel like this is morally your energy where you're trying to just be successful and move forward and try to understand what's going on um, into your life. Um, you're not trying to control the situation. You may be up here to be doing that because it's funny. I feel like this is your person's energy, very manipulative energy here. All right, what they have done to you in the Five of Pentacles and your energy moving forward. Very, you know, successful, like, okay, I can do this on my own. I am here to win the war. I am going to fight the battle. Um, it could be that you're going to work things out with your person or you're going to move on with your life. 
um, either what, whatever you decide, okay? All right, so let's talk about this Ten of Cups here. We clarified it with the Magician, um, the Empress, and we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So you're going to be, be forgiven this person, even though this person was unstable, un, um, suitable, unbalanced, wasn't something that you wanted. They appear to be something that you wanted. But you're praying about this. You're praying about what you should do moving forward, okay? You're letting this go and putting it in hands of the universe. And if it ends up to be something that you have to just walk away from, let it be, all right? So then we have clarified the three of cups here with the two of swords, the high priestess, and communication. So you and your person is going to talk about this because your person is going to make a decision about this. I'm going to clarify this two of swords real quick and see what, where their head is. But you are very like entwined with yourself and this is why you are the emperor right now. You are in your intuition, following your, your, your feelings. And also not even, you know, talking to anybody about the situation, whatever is meant to be will be and communication is coming. So let me clarify this two of swords. Clarify the two of swords, please. Why is two of swords here? Why is this two of swords here? Two of swords. Two of swords. Two of swords. Wow. All right. <laughs> oh my God. The scales are just not right. But we clarify the two of swords. And I definitely got the moon, the lovers, and the uh, queen of wands. I feel like you're very cold to this person, even though they're making a decision to come back to you. Okay? Because in the lovers... <laughs> This is what they choose to go through, to go to with you. You are their lover. I feel like Twin Flame Connection is deeply coming through here, but they're coming back to you with this moon here. So they're not telling you everything. They're not giving you the clarity where they've been, what's up, what they've been doing, how they feel. They're just coming back to you, and hopefully you won't have to ask any questions, okay? Which is so typical, so typical. Um, but there will be conversation, conversation about this. I feel like you're not going to let this person, you're waiting for this person to come back so you can have a deep conversation with them. I feel like you're going to be very protective over your energy and the queen of swords here, like a bitch, <laughs> but they deserve it. You're not really like, you're going to listen to what this person have to say, but at the same time, you're very protective of your energy and what you have built. Because I feel like this person is coming back when you have gotten out of debt, okay? Because this person left you with a lot of responsibilities, a lot of debt, and you have gotten yourself, you're ended that cycle. You've gotten yourself out of debt, your credit is going back to what it needs to be, life is looking good, and here this person comes. All right, this is what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope it uh, resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video, keep this video going, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.